Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you are well. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a fairly simple yet decorative paracord bottle wrap. This time, we're going to be using the reef knot for our covering technique, which is a fairly simple knot to do. All in all, the project will protect your bottles from getting damaged or broken. With that said, let's take a look at the bottle wrap, then make our own. Here you can see an example of this style of a wrap. The wrap is made by lining up row after row of reef knots until you fill out the entire bottle. After filling out the entire bottle, we're going to finish using a decorative knot. The wrap is fairly easy to make as long as you have some cordage and time. As far as supplies go, the first supply that you're going to need is going to be a bottle to cover. In this video, I'm going to be using a bottle that you get when you buy the Voss bottled water. The bottle is made out of glass and it is quite practical. The size of the bottle is about 13 fluid ounces or about 375 milliliters. You can use other types of bottles, but the measurements for the cordages that I'm going to be using to cover the bottle are for this specific bottle. The bottle or the bottled water can be bought online or in various stores. The next supply that we're going to need is going to be the cordage for the body of the wrap. I'm going to be using 4 pieces of 550 paracord, each about 12 feet long. The next supply that I'm going to need is going to be one shorter piece of paracord 550, which I'm going to place around the neck of the bottle. This one is going to help us close the wrap at the top. It should be about 2 feet long. Optionally, you can also use a cord stop or cord lock in order to close the neck of the bottle more easily. Finally, a pair of scissors or a knife to cut the cords with as well as a lighter to melt the ends. With these supplies ready, let's begin. Before we move on to our project, let's repeat the reef knot to make our job a bit easier. So I have two strands here, and I'm going to pick up the right one. I'm going to place it over the left one, essentially just crossing the two strands. Now using the same strand, so the right one, I'm going to wrap around the left one, coming bottom up, like this. Using the same strand, so the right one, I'm going to go over the left strand, like this, then wrap around the left strand, coming bottom up. Tighten up. And what you get is a proper reef knot. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to be using a slightly modified version, which is in essence a reinforced reef knot. To tie the reinforced version, pick up the same strand again, so the right one, place it over the left one, then wrap around the left strand going bottom up. Tighten up, and this is what you should get. A reinforced reef knot. This is what we're going to be using. Now let's move on to the actual project. To start off my project, I'm going to take the shorter piece of paracord, 
which I'm going to be using around the neck of the bottle. At this point, I'm going to thread both ends through my cord stop. If you don't have a cord stop, then just tie an overhand knot instead. So something like this. Now we're going to place this neck cord around the neck of the bottle. Like this. One small detail that I should mention is that after you put on the cord stop, you will want to secure it so that it doesn't just slide off off of the cords. For this purpose, you can use a simple overhand knot or two. For example, like this. You just make a loop and you feed the working end through and tighten up. And this is going to prevent the cord stop from sliding off off of the cord. So this would be one example of securing the cord stop by using two overhand knots. A nicer finish would be to use Celtic button knots instead of the overhand knots. Or you could just use a two-stranded stopper knot, for example the lanyard knot. The choice is yours and I have featured both the lanyard knot and the Celtic button knot in videos before, so feel free to look them up. So we have the base onto which we can now hook the four remaining pieces of paracord. So take one of the pieces, fold it in half, then feed the folded end or bite under the shorter cord, then feed both ends through the bite to create a lark's head knot. Then repeat this process three more times to surround the bottle. After you have placed your longer strands of paracord around the neck cord, make sure that all of the strands are spread apart evenly. Now we're going to continue lining up reef knots. Pick up one strand out of a pair on the right side and one strand out of a pair on the left. Using the right strand, travel over the left strand, then under and up like this. Now, using this strand, which is now on the left side, travel over the right strand, then under and through. Adjust the reef knot so that it is in the middle of the two sections. So right in the middle, then slowly tighten it up. And we have our reef knot. Now as mentioned, we're going to be using a reinforced version. So pick up the right strand, place it over the left strand, then travel under and up, and tighten up again. And this is the reef knot variant that we're going to be making. And we have one section complete. Rotate your bottle a little bit. So something like this. 
we have one strand on the right, one strand on the left. Using the right strand, again travel over the left strand, like this. Then travel under and up, like this. Then using the left strand, travel over the right strand, then under and up. And again we have a reef knot. Position it in between the two columns, like this. Then reinforce it using the right strand, passing over the left strand, then up and through. Tighten up, and we have the second section complete. Rotate the bottle, take the next two strands. With the right one, travel over the left one, then up and through, like this. Then using the left strand, travel over the right one, then under and through, like this. Position the reef knot in between the two columns. Then tighten up. Then reinforce the reef knot by taking the right strand, passing over the left strand, then under and through, and tighten up. And we have another section done. Rotate the bottle again. Take the last two remaining strands, using the right end travel over the left one, then under and through, like this, then using the left strand, over the right one, and under and through. Position the reef knot in between the other two columns and tighten up. Then reinforce the reef knot, taking the right strand, passing over the left one, then under and through, and tighten up. And we have one row completed. Now we continue the same way until we reach the bottom. So the next row would start by taking two strands, one from the right side, one from the left, and again doing the same thing. So we start with the right strand. Passing over the left one, then under and up, like this. Then the left strand passes over the right one, then under and through. Again, make sure that you position the reef knot in between the previous two sections, then tighten it up. So something like this. To reinforce, take the right strand, pass over the left strand, under and through, and tighten up. And we have the next section in the second row. Again, you would rotate, and again tie a reef knot.
like this. Then rotate again. And again. Like this. And with this I have completed two rows already. We have our attachment row, then the first row, second row and so on. The third one would start in between the sections of the second row. Again, same thing, continuing all the way down until we reach the bottom of the bottle. After covering the sides using a series of reef knots, it is time to finish our project. Now, we need to finish up at the bottom. The easiest way would be to simply cut and melt all of the ends. I prefer to finish by placing a decorative knot here at the bottom. So, in the next section, I'm going to show you two different ways of finishing up this bottle wrap. The first way of finishing this wrap is by tying a Turk's head terminal knot. This knot is also referred to as the foot rope knot. To tie the foot rope knot, we're going to start off with a crown knot. The crown knot is going to be tied by first pairing up our strands, so that we get four pairs of two. Then pick up one pair of strands, place it counterclockwise over the next pair, then pick up the next pair, Place it counterclockwise over the next pair. Take the next pair, so the third pair of strands. Place it counterclockwise over the last pair. And then the last pair of strands is going to travel under the first pair of strands that I used. And what you should get is a square looking crown knot. To transform the crown knot into the foot rope knot, pick up one pair of strands, travel counterclockwise under the next pair, then immediately up and through the center of the crown knot. Then pick up the next pair of strands, travel counterclockwise under the next pair, then immediately up and through the center of the crown knot. Like this. Pick up the third pair of strands, Travel counterclockwise under the last pair and again immediately up through the center of the crown knot. Pick up the next pair of strands. Travel over the first pair of strands used. 
then immediately up and through the center of the knot. Tighten up by pulling on all of the strands, first together, then individually. This is what you should get. A finished bottom and you can simply trim the ends here and melt them. Or you can leave a bit of the strands hanging out and trim a bit further away. Whichever way you prefer. But this should be a nice looking finishing knot at the bottom. Doing some additional tightening on the knot is recommended. Another way of finishing that I also quite like is to simply continue your reef knots, drawing them closer and closer together until they meet up at the very center of the bottom. To do this, you simply continue your reef knots, drawing them closer together. Once you have closed off the bottom, you can again finish it by tying a foot rope knot. Again, pick up two of the strands, place them counterclockwise over the next two, pick up the next two strands, place them counterclockwise over the third pair, then the third pair of strands, travels counterclockwise over the last pair and the last pair travels counterclockwise under the first two strands that I used. What you should get is a square looking crown knot. Like this. Pick up any of the two strands, travel counterclockwise under the next pair, then immediately travel under and through the center of the crown knot. Pick up the next two strands, again travel counterclockwise under the next pair, then immediately under and through the center of the crown knot. Pick up the third pair of strands, travel counterclockwise under the last pair, then immediately up through the center of the crown knot. And the last pair travels past the first pair of strands that I used, so these ones, then immediately up through the center of the crown knot. Tighten up by pulling on all of the strands, then each one individually. And what you should get is a nice looking foot rope knot at the very bottom. And this should be the end result. So guys, at this point we came to the end of this video. I would like to thank you very much for joining me and I hope that everything went smoothly for you. Thank you and see you next time.